All right, three things. One, uh, it's really tragic that the singer Christina R- uh, Grimmy, sorry, messing up the name. That's terrible of me. Uh, Christina Grimmy, that sucks. That of the news of her being shot. She was just trying to sign autographs for fans and some dude comes up and shoots her. Shout outs to her brother though for taking charge and jumping in there and tackling the shooter. Like props to that guy. He didn't like get scared. He like, what? You shot my sister? I'm taking you down, dog. So big props to that dude. Uh, unfortunately, like obviously it didn't happen before the shooting and the shooter then killed himself because he just would rather die than go in prison. That all sucks. And especially like me being an entertainer, like that kind of like, I don't know. Beforehand, a long time ago, I didn't really like experience a lot of sorrow a lot because if I don't know the person and I know people die all the time all over the world and stuff like that. And if I don't know the person, especially if it's just like a star, it's like, oh, the person's like a star, or, like a celebrity. And, uh, you know, it's, but everybody's just human you know we're still all humans so it was kind of just me just like this is another person died just like people in africa die so like if i don't feel sympathy for people in africa why would i feel sympathy for this person but unless somebody obviously impacts your life if somebody like encourages you or motivates you like this singer like inspired you to be the man or woman you are now obviously that's a big deal but i never really got that from celebrities but that kind of like hit close to home a little bit to me because i'm obviously an entertainer and i like going to cons and like that so it kind of sucks that's like oh my god like this girl was just having a time of life she had all this potential and was like awesome super young too i think she was 22 years old that sucks so a little bit of uh, mourning going on for that the second thing though is last vlog i uh the way i illustrated my thoughts about losing sleep and stuff like that when a lot of it's based on wanting to play with members of the hopscotch mafia i realized that by saying that i was watching the playback and by no means am i like blaming the hopscotch mafia for like lacking my sleep schedule it's obviously all on me i was just pointing out that it was like a really unfortunate coincidence and circumstance that they're all like line owls and, and i'm I need to not be, you know, I'm naturally a night owl. That's why like all this time I do that, I just stay up all night long with them and all that stuff just because I really love playing and, and staying up at night just for a better health and like energy and motivation and drives like that. I need to stick to like, you know, early sleep schedules. So that's just on me needing to take the hit and not be able to hang out with the fam as much, but it's all on me. The third thing is I'm going to Orlando and hang out with friends tonight uh, after this vlog is edited and uploaded. I'm also going to be in Orlando tomorrow as well. So I'm not streaming on Sunday as I previously mentioned. And beforehand, and um, I really want to do a thing because I wa- shout outs to Syndicate Central. That's actually the person who got me into wanting to do vlogs, even though now my style of vlog is completely different and not anywhere near what his style of vlog is. His style of vlog is he is mad rich, mad popular, has mad connections, and he just travels around the world doing crazy stuff all the time. So clearly he can just take his camera with his, his phone and just be like, I'm going to do all this crazy stuff. But like, obviously I'm not in that position right now to where I'm like mad rich. I don't have mad connections. I'm not mad popular at this point. You know, we'll see the, how the future holds knock on wood, but, uh, right now i'm definitely not so i don't really have the opportunity to do crazy adventures and when i do actually get out of the house and hang out with people it's more of like a more of like an intimate time where i get to hang out with friends and like chill with them and i've noticed that like a lot of times it just feels awkward just because i'm like vlogging something like that and that's not really like what i do what i do is like stream mostly i really love vlogging right now i'm actually really loving um the ability to be able to vlog and just kind of like share my thoughts to you all and provide to you on a daily basis and i have topic points i can discuss discuss <laughs> I can do that and like who cares i can do it if i want <sighs> anyway i'm getting off track i don't want to vlog times that i'm just hanging out with friends if it's just like a regular hangout time or just like i'm just gonna go to the movie with my cousin or i'm just gonna go like chill with my sister or something like that i want to vlog all of that because i want that time for me more and i don't really enjoy vlogging that time because i feel like i'm making them uncomfortable i'm definitely making myself uncomfortable i feel awkward doing it so i don't want to do it however on the opposite end of vlogging which is what i'm doing here in studio where i can just have a topic i'm discussing it talking about my day talking about what i did and just be able to cut it you know and just share topic points and discussions for you all um share my thoughts freaking love this this is what like i am i did not think i'd be a vlogger i did not think i would enjoy vlogging but i freaking do i freaking love vlogging in this style um there'll be times where like i'll go like to conventions like twitchcon or destiny um community con later i might like go hike a mountain like i did before i might go skydiving or some something like crazy if i do a big event obviously sure i'll vlog especially if i'm gone for a long time i'm not gonna just like stockpile like random thought processes in my head and just like schedule out vlogs i'm gonna make it actually be daily vlogs for you so when i'm like gone on big vacations or doing big events or like that i'll vlog it because that's a big deal i want you to be interacting with the big deals in my life that's a you know obviously it's huge it's awesome i know you would all love to see that kind of stuff like i know you would love to see my adventures at twitchcon and stuff like that you know but for like regular everyday stuff i i would much rather personally just kind of chill with friends and hang out with them and then just talk about it. i'll talk about it and cover like fun stories and stuff like that with you here but i don't want to 
be vlogging in people's faces who are like my friends and family and stuff unless it's a big event because unless it's a big event it's kind of awkward and i don't really like doing it so i'm gonna do whatever i want because it's my youtube channel and i just hope that you enjoy me doing whatever i want um i'm also doing this thing where i look to the right because that's where i'm recording everything i can see myself so i'm making sure i don't like suddenly like have like burgers like drooling out of my nose or actual drool coming out of my mouth you know i'm making sure like i'm not making sure i'm not not presentable <laughs> So that's why I keep looking off to the right instead of the camera. Obviously, I know you're right there, but I don't know. I'm used to Twitch streaming as well. So while I'm streaming, I'll look to the right a little bit to food chat. I'll be reading chat, which is right next to where my X split is, which is recording everything here. And then I'll look at the camera every once in a while, but very rarely. It's almost entirely looking at the game, looking at chat, looking at game, looking at chat, sup, chat, game, chat, chat 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 game chat sup chat that's basically what i do but now i'm vlogging i'm gonna get more into this zone where i just kind of look at you through the camera and not look at my face as much i think it's good that i do that but i think i do it a little too much a little awkward i just kind of like like one day i'll just keep looking to the right and eventually i'll just be like this and you guys will be like who's chad talking to who's over there is he talking to like a friend i'm like no i'm talking to literally the wall <laughs> So anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this vlog. I need to edit it and export it and upload it. I'm going to try to do so in 15 minutes, which is like, no way I'm going to be doing that. But I need to do that as fast as possible so I can get out and go hang out with friends in Orlando. And tomorrow night, I'll be vlogging again. So I'll still have that daily vlog uploaded at 2 p.m. Eastern every single day for you. Uh, remember the less plays I do for Mirror's Edge right now and future games in the future. Like Future games in the future, whatever. Future games for Let's Plays as well as this current Meteor's Edge Let's Play uploads at 6 p.m. every single day as well. And uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoy these vlogs. Hopefully you um, are okay with me doing what I want to do in the studio vlog, talking about topics. Speaking of which, if you have any topics you want me to talk about, you can always comment it or tweet it at me or something like that. I'll talk about anything I want to talk about. But if you want me to talk about something specifically that you want me to talk about, then I can talk about that thing that you want me to talk about. All right, deal, sweet. So like this video if you liked it. Be sure to leave those comments as previously discussed. Subscribe to this youtube channel youtube just subscribe to my youtube channel if you want to and uh until next time next time watching over now